NXT 205 Live recap. Yep. And, um, I mean. This was crazy. I mean, 205 Live was okay. NXT was okay until the ending. Got crazy at the end. Um, yeah, so. Right now we're going to talk about 205. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. We have Akira Tawaza versus Drew Gulak. Had that English dude with him as well. Of course. And then I ended up being a DQ. So Akira Tawaza won because Jack Allen her attacked. And Brian is running out to help Akira because it's a two on one attack. So, you got an out, and then Jack Allen and Drew Kulak sitting there outside the ring looking at Brian Kendrick and Akira because Brian came out and helped. So, but that match, I mean, um, I, I, there is a heated rivalry with now with um, Brian Kendrick. I think Brian Kendrick's like a good guy now, so there's got kind of, there's a uh, rivalry a little there brewing there. So, the Paul be end up being like, um, at a at a pay per view, probably Akira, Akira and um, Brian Kendrick versus Gulak and Jack, or someone, probably. or someone with Brian Kendrick, whoever. Yeah, probably be doubled. Yeah, but. or something like that. So, but yeah, it was an okay match. Now the next match is a five man, you know, battle with TJP with versus. Grand Metalock versus Short Little L.O. Rush, Tony Meese, Ab Checker versus Critic Alexandra. And, I mean, you're sitting there looking at this match, you're thinking, um, if Cedric Alexander wins, okay, of course. Like, oh, he wins, right? Oh, because he lost this, so he want, they still want him to be the rivalry with, um, Buddy Murphy, I think that's the same, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and then you sit and think, ooh, maybe Tony needs to win because he's always worried about his abs. Or Leo Rush because he's a manager of Bobby Lashley. Or Grand Mental League. But you're sitting there, oh, Grand Mental League and TTP's probably not going to win because they already have a rival for themselves. So mm -hmm. they're pretty much going to battle with each other. So pretty much ain't going to be them because... TGP already tried to get the mask off Grandma Talik already. Yeah, he tried to do it. Because when he came out in his entrance, he wore one of the masks as a necklace. Like, he thought it was funny, and he had one of the shirts on or something. And he was going to try to take another one. Yep. Keep making a big... And then, of course, Tony Nese, I don't know why, just keep counting his freaking M's. Like, we don't freaking know that... Like, we don't... Like, freaking know that yeah. he has he abs still. Like, they yeah. don't go away unless and he also you... showing off his muscles as well. Yeah, showing off his muscles in the match. Like, <laughs> kept showing off. Like, oh my god. But, um, Tony East won. He, um, he he pinned Cedric Alexander and made Alexander Alexander with his eyes popping like he's a one shot. Like he, like he lost, so. Um, that match... I mean, that match was an easy pick winner, like a prediction winner, because we, we didn't really, we knew, we knew TGP and Grand Metalik wasn't going to win because they already have a ride with themselves, like I said. Nope. So, we knew it was probably going to be between, between Tony or Cedric, so. Yeah, and that little rush dude ain't going to move. So, um, but that was at 205 Live. What did you think about 205 Live? I yeah. mean, I think it was okay. Do you have a favorite of 205? Do you have a favorite wrestler? Who's your favorite cruiserweight? I mean, yeah. let's see, my favorite out of this so far. Probably be the Lucha House Party. Yeah, they, they seem interesting. Be my favorite out of all of them. So. Um. That was that. And now, we got NXT. Yeah, crazy. Whew. Okay. The first match of NXT was. War Raiders vs. Undisputed Error. Now, okay, 
Um, they're having their match. They're just, it's going good. It's going good. They're having their match. Going back and forth. And the leader of Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, tried to interfere. Yep, with one of the guys. But he got thrown out of the ring. Yep. So, and this match ended up being a DQ with a chair because the other members that came of Undisputed Era came out. So, pretty much War Raiders won by a DQ. We knew, like... That we, one was crazy. Yeah, well, I mean, like, on this really era, they, I think they're the top team right now, so they want to be better and stuff. So we knew something's going to happen, like, if there'll be a DQ, or they win, or whatever, whatever. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, we know someone who likes Adam Cole. Of course. I mean, we had her choose John Cena or Adam Cole because those are our two favorite. She's like, oh, that's a tough one. Who do I pick? Yeah. But she actually picked Adam Cole over John Cena, so that's a little shock. So, yeah. And the next match is Britt Baker versus Sh Cheyenne. Shayna. Shayna Blazer. Yeah. So, okay, that's, okay, Shane Blazer is the girl that's going against, oh, what's her name? Oh, my God. Oh, we forgot her uh, name. Sha, 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 no. I don't always forget her uh, name. Uh, it's I know it's, it's an S, right? She, she, no, it's a K. Ka, Kira, 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 oh, Kira or something like that. Kari, Kirish or something. Karen, Kira, I, whatever. The one in the championship. I always like I'll forget, and then all of a sudden, when I'm not thinking about it, I'll remember her name. But Kira, I think it's Kira something or uh, Kari or something. Kari Shay. Kari Shay. See. I know it was Kira or Karsh or something. Kari Shane, yes. Well, she, but, um, she won because, um, Brett Baker had an injury when she got, when she attacked her. I guess something with her joint popped down. She's all in pain. So, yeah, pretty much couldn't continue. That's pretty much. And then afterwards, the, she attacked her after, like, all the medical staff and whatever. Because of course she wants to, sh she wants to show Kari that she is number one, and she's gonna be the new, be the new NXT Women's Champion. That's pretty much why. Yeah. I, like I said, I want Kari. And then we have, I think there was a little segment backstage with Nikki Cross. She was sitting on the ground ripping paper or something or yeah. something, laughing, whatever, being her psychotic self again. Yep, then it I went no or something. Yeah, and then there was another match, Bing and Bing and Rocky versus Logan and Burton or whatever. I didn't see these people before, and I don't think they were on when but, I watched it. But um, you're sitting there thinking, oh, this Bing and Rocky probably went because they look like twins and all that. But no, I mean, um, Logan and Burton won. I think they did some kind of move, made him win or something like that. But yeah, so yeah, that match was, was it was weird. So pretty much like I believe they were bald. So there you go. Yeah. So and then you got the main event of NXT. Yeah. Bianca, uh, Bianca versus Nikki Cross. Crazy yeah. Nikki Cross. Yeah. Um. I'm telling you, Bianca Belair with that hair, it's so long, you shouldn't use it, you know, as I just said, use it as a whip. Yeah, pretty much like a whip, like, here, I'll tame you across. Pretty much that's what it was doing. So, um, okay, they were had pretty much having that match, and there's no winner because during the match, it went black, and then all of a sudden we came back on, and only the blacks sitting there, Indian style, in the ring, and then... Um, what's her face? Crazy Nikki Cross over here, rolling around like she's rolling in mud on the mat, like, ha 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 And he's like, like this. Come here. And then she's slowly going up to him, and she puts her head by his ear, and goes back, and then he looks at this at the end. It's like, she told him a secret, because all the fans are like, Nikki's got a secret or something? I think that's what they're saying. Yeah. 
I mean, that was crazy. Like, you know what? He probably whispered. She probably whispered in his ear. I know. I know who it is, or something like that. Or she told who it is, or something. But I mean, Leech Black's pretty cool. I seen him in one match when I watched a one takeover thing. He's pretty good. I mean, I haven't seen him much, so. But I mean, people seem to like him and stuff. So I just wonder who he's gonna end up going against. I wonder. I, we wonder what Nikki Cross said in Alicia Black's ear. Um, could be anything. Yeah. So, what did you think about NXT? I mean, um, I th I thought it was okay and crazy at the end. And just wondering it because you were wonder like, what did that crazy girl say to Alicia? What did he? Sh what did she say? Ooh. Knew she knows and, um, like, what is this with this one tag team with Logan and Berton? Then what's what's gonna be with Shayna and Car? He's probably gonna be Car's in the match and then whatever. Mm -hmm. And what's gonna happen with the undisputed era? What are they gonna do? And same with the two five. What are they gonna do? I mean, it's like. Tell us, tell us what you thought about it. Like, did you care for it? Did, did you think? Do you it even like the shows? Like, yes. Yeah, so. Like, what's your favorite show? Like, uh, on on wrestling thing. Do you like other shows besides Two Hundred Five or wrestling? Regular, like WWE. Or just just talk. Just tell us what do you like about wrestling. Tell your tell us your favorite wrestling. Like. Or do you know any shows that like in the wrestling um, that you we think we would enjoy? Like. Like the Mae Young Classic, for example. Do you watch that? Who do you think? Who do you think's gonna actually be on top of that winning? I mean, I don't watch it that much. I mean, I try to watch as much as I can, but um, yeah. So yeah, um. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more NXT recap. Bye. Bye.